Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. This is Kathy and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today, obviously as you can see, we have the Canon Inspeak C in front of us. Uh, this is the model CV-123A for those who might need it. Um, and today we will be unboxing and having some first impressions regarding this. And then after a month or so, I will be doing a full review or probably a week or two weeks. You know, after I've tried this out, I'll be doing another video and this time it'll be the full review. Um, so this is actually the first time that I've seen the Canon in Speak C and you know, it's not to blame on the Canon team. It's just that, you know, with everything that's going on around, there's really no time. So I was very happy when I passed by um, Henry's in Alabang Town Center and I saw this and it instantly, you know, got my attention because it says instant camera printer and it looks actually slim see i mean the box alone is pretty slim so i was like okay that's not bulky at all i can actually carry that around with me i can fit it inside my purse even a small bag so i was very curious and since it was valentine's day um that time guess what I have for Valentine's so let's go ahead and do a super quick unboxing of this one right after this okay so now we are back again my name is Kathy and on this channel we do a lot a lot a lot a lot of unboxing first impressions quick reviews we also talk about diamond painting, journaling, ways to save some money, how to be a better blogger, and how to, you know, live a more intentional lifestyle while self-loving and self-caring. If that is your kind of thing, please do feel free to subscribe, leave a comment, share, like, any kind of interaction. It's very much appreciated by small YouTubers like, you know, myself. And right now, we are already at 3,200, so I'm very, very grateful um, to those people who have subscribed, who leave a comment, who watch, thank you so much. And I hope that this is one of the videos where you can learn a little bit of something, you know, with me. Um, so, we'll go ahead and get started with the um, unboxing. So, you can see we have here the price. So, this is 7900 So, it's not as expensive as the other um, instant camera printers that are available out there. Um, and... Again, this one is, you know, very slim. Just opening it off screen. Uh, okay, so... Okay, there you go. Um, it says here that the box will actually contain the camera. I'm assuming it's a camera. This is a manual. Okay, uh, this is a film. There will be a little notepad. I don't know what this is. What do you guys think this is? Let me just make sure that it's clear on the camera. There. Um, the cord and then there's like a so this is the Charging thing and then there's a cord to make sure that you know, you don't just drop it. It's very light at 170 grams and Then it has a built-in lithium polymer battery. So meaning you cannot take out the battery Okay, do not try to take it out or else you will destroy this. Okay guys. Don't be silly <gasps> How pretty! Oh my god, ah! It's so pretty. You know what, guys? Um, I'll give you a back um story. I used to hate the color pink. Like, if you made, if you make me wear like a pink shirt or a pink dress when I was young, I'd flip. And now, as you can see there, there's my pink tumbler. I have my pinkish purplish pen holders. I don't know. I just started liking the color pink all of a sudden. So, blame it on adulthood, adulting. You know, I have appreciation for the color. Okay. So, we have here the camera, as mentioned. <gasps> it's so nice. It is so nice. Okay. So, here is the camera. And that is so nice. It's so smooth and yup you can actually just hold it like this which is really nice and then I'm guessing this is where the viewfinder that's what they call it right and then there's like little things here I'm assuming that this is the uh, print button this one is the print button I have absolutely no idea what this is I guess this switches it from 2x2 two two, to 2x3 two 
So if you want to take a photo with a 2x2 or 2x3, you just click on this. And this one is the print. Or does this like automatically print as soon as you take a photo? I hope not because that would be a little bit sad. What if you take a photo and the photo is messed up and then it just automatically prints? So that's not going to be happy. And then we have here the charging port. We have here a micro SD. And from what I've seen, this is micro SD that's up to 256 gig. That's allowed. And then this is the um, reset. Okay. So love so far. I am loving this. And then here's the manual. This is the manual. I'm guessing that this is the manual. This is the charger. This is the Ah, this is the manual. Yes, this is the manual. And Okay, my English, guys. My English. So, really happy about that. Okay. So, it says here, ayon, there there's the different parts of it okay and there is even a selfie mirror oh, yeah, yeah 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 we have it here this is the selfie mirror so you guys can kind of see if you're you know on frame or out of frame and then they have a printer cover they do ah this one okay Shempre, they have the printer cover the reset charging status reprint button the re uh, I was correct, guys. So, there is a reprint button. But if it's just a reprint button, does that mean that when you take a photo, it just automatically prints? I think that's one of the things I am most curious about. And I'm really hoping that is not the case. Because, you cannot take a not perfect photo because it's just gonna print everything right okay i guess that's one of the things that we will be reviewing once you've actually tried and tested things out diba kasi there's no point if i already know everything but so far it has everything that it's supposed to have okay which is a good thing and then i am guessing that this is the warranty card not a note card but a warranty card tama ba is it guys you know it's it's so hard when you actually do an unboxing and Im quick impressions without knowing anything but i try to keep it that way so that my reactions will be as authentic as possible which i think a lot of our viewers appreciate naman and again you know i'm not a technical technical reviewer i am more of a lifestyle technical reviewer and i'm just really excited to have this in my hands so what am i going to be using this for definitely journaling memory keeping um and you know just capturing those uh, moments that i have with my family because you don't even know what's going to happen to the world so it's always best to just be able to capture moments and keep it and um to give you an example of how i plan on using it okay let me show you my um planner my huge huge planner so this is like my planner and what I'm planning to do, oh, I'm planner and planning to do, is to actually be able to put photos here and there. Um, so there are pages here that there are photos, but syempre, it's not showing up right now. But that is the plan. So as you can see here, I have the little notes from people. And then I have my congratulatory card when we got married last month. Um, so that's what I'm hoping to do is to add more photos. So for example, this week, there's nothing yet here for the weekend. I'm hoping that I'll be able to put a photo here because this is the first week that I will have this. So, I'm very excited and I do want to have a memory of having the Inspix C on my planner. So, that's very important for me. And for my journaling um, as well, it's also very important to have something super handy. Um, I like that it prints um, the photos that I want um, ASAP. Because sometimes you just don't have the time to, you know, sort through hundreds and hundreds of digital images. And then you pick the right one. And then you set up your printer. And then you put the photo paper. And then you have to print. 
and it's exhausting just thinking about it so if this does just print right after taking the photo just have to make sure that you are taking the right one and then you have to you know utilize this a lot so that you can see if you are taking um, everything in frame uh, so I guess that's the upside of it and the downside is if you know if you kind of suck at taking photos then this is the best way to improve things diba? because if not you have tons and tons of ugly photos or funny photos depending again on how you look at things because it's all a matter of perspective but so far for me looks wise feel wise weight everything is pasado i love it again very easy to fit into the pocket very easy to fit into your small bag i would you know i would discourage you from putting this in your pocket because you might sit on it accidentally and if you're heavy then <gasps> goodbye canon it's pixie right now this by the way i think i didn't, wasn't able to show you this is their paper it's a zinc photo paper um this is a two by three so i guess it's best to you know use the ratio of two by three to maximize this um this will print borderless okay and then there are 10 sheets here and from what i know this can fit 10 sheets and one charging you can take photos of i think about 25 photos but but please note okay this is very very important and i know this because i'm actually a photo major i took up photography in de la salle university before and the very important thing that you need to remember when you are handling film and this is film is that the moment you put in the film do not and i say do not open it again until you've consumed everything because film when exposed to light even for like a split second and trust me on this even for a split second will be destroyed when you develop the when it gets developed or get printed, there will be like a line there. Well, that's what happens with film anyway. And I'm assuming that it's going to be the same because that is one of the things that, was, I was, that I was told when I was at Henry's is that when I put in the photo paper inside and I close this, do not, do not open it again until it consumed everything, okay? So I hope that helps someone out if there's like a newbie in photography and film. That's a really, really useful a piece of information and trust me on this it is so frustrating getting a perfect photo and then when you print things there's like a big line or a big dot because it was exposed to the light okay so i'm super excited to try this out um i will be taking random photos and i will be sharing them on my blog and on my in, uh social media accounts which can be found below and then I will be doing a quick uh, first impression right up on this on my site. I hope you guys get to visit it. It's www.lifeiscoolifeful.com. We are celebrating 15 years. Yes, I have been blogging for 15 years. Um, and then, as promised, after a month or two, uh, sorry, not after a week or two, I will be sharing with you my um, quick review or first impressions of actually using the Canon in Spic C. Right now, these are all just aesthetic impressions of, you know, the feel, how big it is. As, as you can see, it's not like super big because I don't have super big hands. Do I? Do I? I, 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 do, I don't think I do. <laughs> I think I have average hands the man. So, um, it's not super big. It's um, just about like a smaller size of your, you know, the standard phone nowadays. And then, it has the film already so it's uh ready to use and then we have this for the clumsy humans like myself so that you don't you know drop the inspect c and then the charging is a micro sd it's not a type c it's a micro sd okay so again that's my not so short uh quick impression of the inspect c i hope that this helps someone out um, if they're looking to buy the Inspect C, I hope that this helps them make that decision, okay? If it did, please let me know. Comment down below your thoughts, questions, so that I know what to answer for the next video. And again, I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye!